I have decided to go book shopping and treat myself to some books. So I'm going to take you along on the journey. I hope that they have a book I'm looking for. I hear that these books are selling fast. So I'm going to go in with a very direct mission, snatch it up and then browse. So let's go book shopping. I knew the moment that I walked through this video that I was in trouble because they knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing when they put this near the front because I I need it. <laughs> and I kind of need that one too to complete the collection. I don't need this because I haven't read the first two yet, but I hear really good things. But I, I definitely don't need this. I have the hardcover. I don't need this. Look, I love Professor X. I love him. And I'm not comparing these two people at all, but I'm, I'm sensing a very similar design aesthetic here. Here's the thing. I love Christmas. I'm pretty sure it's like embedded in my personality, but I can't, I can't read this right now. I have, I have to walk away. Remember when you couldn't find Fourth Wing anywhere? I think this is the first time I've ever seen it in person. Oh. I just want to hold it and <laughs> want to experience it in my hands. It's pretty, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty thick, which makes sense because that audiobook was long, but wow. Also this, I need to read this because the show comes out in like a week and I'm slacking. You know that I love this book, but fun fact, I don't own a physical copy. I only have the ebook. So is today the day? When this comes out, you better be prepared to be sick of me. I am so excited. I love the Hunger Games. So I talked about these covers in my Discord group because these are the exclusive editions of the Six of Crows duology. And I want to know your thoughts. So let me know what you think. I I really need to read this. I've been wanting to forever. I love Marie Lou. I just, I haven't yet. Also this book, this book gets recommended to me a lot. So I, I gotta bump it up. I straight up honed in on this book. I was like, this looks adorable. I'm loving the illustration. The cover is everything. Cute cover. I'm adding this to my TBR. Also, I've never seen this book advertised ever before and I'm I'm interested. And here's the back if anyone wants to know. Also, I definitely thought that these were skeleton hands and they're not which makes sense because this looks like it's set at sea during a storm. Okay, I don't know what it is about, I think they call them like young readers books. I think that's what they're calling middle grade books now, but the art is immaculate. Like look at the detail, like I, I don't even care what this book is about. I mean, don't get me wrong, it does look really good, but the cover art is immaculate. I'm a sucker for hats like this, but I don't, need a hat like this. It's pretty common to see a Sarah J Mass tower, at least at this indigo, but uh, they got they got divine rivals here, and I don't know if this is a sign for me to buy this book today. Here's the thing, I want this book, but it's so damaged. One day. That's a wizard's chess. I don't know what it is, but I really, really, really like it. I'm sorry. We're in an indigo? This is at an indigo? This is at indigo? I think this is just the coolest thing ever. I don't know what kind of deal indigo is striking up with all these different vendors so that they can sell this stuff in the store. They, like, what? This is so cool. <laughs> okay, so yes, this might be $35 Canadian, but I'm just happy it's here. I just need you to know that this exists in the world. I just need you to know that. Look, this isn't my business. I'm not, I'm not telling anyone at this store that they probably should change a sign that this doesn't fit the bill. It's not my business. I, I've just noticed it, that's all. Lots of variety though. But I am happy to report that the other side of this table is delivering as promised. I'm just taking a moment to appreciate this stunning book cover. It's beautiful. What is this? What is this? This is giving Germoyne. Tell me I'm wrong. It has been a minute since I have seen so many books on the shelves. We love a well-stocked bookstore. I know I just talked about how stunning a lot of young reader book covers are, but this, this is next level. This is special edition quality. This is not a drill. This, this is real. This exists in the world and I, I need it. I mean, all covers, all covers are different. Like, like this kid, he's not, he's not having it at all. Well, I think you can officially say the fourth wing drought is over. At least, at least at my local indigo. <laughs> I think this is my Diagon Alley. We are now in the romance section of the bookstore. I'm so happy for Lauren Asher, because once upon a time, you would never find these books here. Or the Roommate Pact. This, 
I'm loving this. Okay, so I was thinking about reading this series because it's so popular. It's so popular. Maybe I'll do a reading vlog so then we can we can read it together because I, I don't know what to expect with this. I don't know how I would feel about it, but it's an international publishing phenomenon. Nervous. I'm like nervous. This is the companion sequel to Set on You, Super Cute, and by Canadian author. Here's an unexpected round two of which cover did it best? Lock in your answers. I think this is the one I would pick. I've never seen this book before either. Sounds like fun to me, and Emily Henry likes it. This is another book I was thinking of doing a reading vlog for because I'm intrigued by this series. Yeah, I am loving the fact that we're seeing these books in store. I used to only see these online, so this is this is really cool. I, I'm really loving this. Also, shout out to Buy a Thread, because I love that book. I'm a little torn if I should listen to the audiobook for this one or not. If anyone watching this knows where to start after you're done Percy Jackson, Jackson. Can someone let me know? Cause I, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. And I need help. Tell me this isn't giving Roald Dahl. Tell me this isn't giving Matilda. That's giving Matilda. Also, this looks really good. <laughs> I was going to give up. I was, I wasn't going to leave, but I was going to give up and I was rewarded for being patient. Isn't it funny when you're looking for a book and you're like, I think I know where it'll be and it's just not where you think it'll be. That's that's where this was, but I found it. I've decided that I can't leave here without a copy. So I'm currently I'm currently looking for a copy. I'm trying to do it on the DL. I don't want anyone to ask me if I need help because I don't, but I'm just looking for the best one. I will put these back. Don't worry, I won't leave it like this, but I need, I need, oh yeah, we got a winner. We got a winner. This is it. This is it. So now, now it's cleanup time. Now we're now we're now we're working it in to go <laughs> it's, it's rude i can't leave it like that there you go i think my entire life is made because the song is playing in a bookstore look how cute this section is this section is everything three of my friends love to play Catan. they played once for eight hours okay i have not read the books all right but i love that there is a game that is inspired by the books. That is so cool. That is so cool. I'm not gonna lie to you. This puzzle section is very, very appealing. I personally have never done a thousand piece puzzle before, but this makes me want to change that. And this one seems right up my alley. Reading and relaxing. Those are two of my favorite things. <laughs> what is this? What is, what is this? We're trying to find, okay, hold up. Just making sure. We're trying to find David Bowie. I don't care the location. Berlin sounds cool, but I'd find him in the forest. I don't even care. This is the coolest thing I think I've ever seen. It's Where's Waldo. It's puzzling. It's iconic. And I'm adding this to my Christmas list. This is so cool. This is the coolest. Also, which Bowie are we trying to find? There better be some sort of legend inside this thing. I'm just on my way to check out and then I saw this and then I saw this and I thought, is this for real? Are CD still around? Is this ironic marketing? Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, so I feel like I had a really good shopping trip. I'm gonna show you the most random thing I bought. So they brought out all their Christmas stuff from last year, I guess that they didn't sell. So I got this candle by Milk Jar Candle Co. And it smells like vanilla peppermint and it was so good. It was only $16. And I looked online and they're like $38. So I love Christmas and I love candles and I love vanilla. So I bought it. Then I got the Hurricane Wars, which I feel is going to be huge. I started it last night because I borrowed it from Libby and I was like, I should probably buy this. I feel like I'm vibing with it. So I got that. It was, I think, like $27 for the hardcover, which that still blows my mind. But I bought the best copy I could find and I'm hyped to read it. I think I'm going to return it from Libby and read it physically because when in Rome. Then last but not least, I know I talk about this book nonstop. This this is my Roman Empire. I love this book with every fiber of my being. My entire soul loves this book. So I finally saw it in store and I was like, add to cart, add to cart. I feel like I'm going to go book shopping more. That that was amazing. I loved in there. They had so many books. I feel like they really stepped up their game at this location because I never wanted to leave. I think I spent almost an hour and a half in there. If you saw any books in the vlog that you've read and you recommend to me, please let me know and I will see you in the next one. Bye book lovers.